but we're going to wrap up our print products with um, canvas. So uh, we do uh, Hana Mule canvases. Uh, we stretch these on one and a half inch uh, stretcher bars. Uh, we have four different wrap styles. Uh, the first one is a white edge. Um, and we have a black black wrap as well. All these are images from uh, Travis Cobb. Uh, this one we also have, let's see, I think this is our gallery wrap. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. so this is our gallery wrap. So the gallery wrap and the uh, mirror wrap are the ones that can be um, uh, a little different. So we're working on a uh, cropping tool for our ordering system for Canvas, specifically for the gallery wrap, because I know there's been um, being able to see where your crop is um, is something that we need. So, but um, uh, it wraps around, so this cuts into the images uh, two inches on all four sides. But we don't. Uh, we're just we're just taking the border and just wrapping it around essentially. But we can do up to thirty by forty-five on the canvas and we do a matte uh, varnish from Hanamule as well uh, so there's no there's not really much of a sheen I mean barely maybe but it is matte so I know there's not not a lot of matte uh, canvases on the market but all of ours are matte that's all we offer uh, we we don't have a we don't do glossy or anything like that um, so this is a, a the mirror wrap and so we take uh, the two inches and we mirror it on the side so you can kind of see the edge of this this wave it's it's on the both uh, corners here uh, so that, that's a way to kind of get a gallery wrap look without actually um, cropping into the image uh, very much so the only time that this can get really awkward is if there's arms or legs or he heads <laughs> things like that can get a little weird um, but uh, but yeah so th those are the four wraps um, the backing currently what we have uh, looks like this. We do beehive hangers, um, a puncture and resistant material and wall bumpers. Um, this week we're actually going to start experimenting with a solid backing board, but uh, it's a bit of a, we have to play around with it and see. So we would like to get to where we can get a solid board on the back, but there's kind of trickiness in terms of like, we don't want to build that up too much. It also needs to be a material that matches the quality of the canvas itself. Um, but we are working on that, and that may be something that change. It's not going to affect your cost or anything, but it, it could be uh, basically an upgrade that we're looking at. Um, yeah, Canvas question first. Do you do a digital stretch for the we don't. We don't do digital stretches. We just do the mirrors or the gallery wrap. So you would have to you'd have to digitally stretch it yourself somehow, but we we don't do it. Um, let's do a framed, the framed canvas. So this is something we released in November, uh, which is, it gets kind of lost in the shuffle with all the holiday busyness, but it's something we're really, really excited about is our framed canvas. All of our framed canvas are premium frames, premium uh, wood. So this is a uh, oil and wax walnut uh, and they're really really thick uh, in terms of them how far they stand off the wall uh, we've got I'll show you all the frame corners here but pretty every frame option that we have with our premium frames we have in the frame canvas as well uh, it really really shows off the wood grain um, on these because more even more than the premium like picture frames because of the depth is so great so it, it's really gonna uh, add kind of a, a very luxurious step so for me it just elevates canvas to like a whole other level than if, you're, if you were doing this by itself um, there's a canvas on the wall over here and it also is um, it's a special dark walnut uh, I'm going to take this. 
Um, so that's the other one from, from Travis right there. But the, it's a half inch on the face is uh, how wide it is. It's a half inch. Uh, this one is a oil and wax cherry. As you can tell my <coughs> oil and wax are my kind of new favorite premium wood options. But um, again, did the wood grain, the natural wood tones uh, are just beautiful. It's something you can, you're not going to be able to fake with um, a veneered canvas or a veneered frame structure, because uh, you you know, like for example here, like you've got little knots and all this is just authentic. So uh, probably going to get a question about when are we, if we're going to add any like traditional canvas framing. Uh, we might at some point. There's some logistics with that. These just happen to these fit the, our natural depth for canvas really, really well. Uh, this is an image by Joanna Booth, by the way. She's on our uh, diversity and inclusion board. Um, but um, yeah, so to do a traditional float uh, canvas frame, we're going to have to, we probably have to offer a thinner stretcher bar, which means we have to store them here, uh, kind of change how we print them. Uh, and then not all the floated frame canvas ones that are more traditional are the proper depth even that varies greatly so even the selections of those are limited uh, where these um, are really the proper depth for what we need so we're starting out with these we'll probably be researching those over time but it's going to take take a little bit of work uh, to to bring that to market for you but in the meantime these are like my favorite favorite for canvas uh, and we've got one more So this is a uh, whitewash ash uh, float canvas frame. And it's the same thing in terms of the, the thickness. But that <coughs> the white ash is really pretty. I don't know if we can do a top down and what that looks like very well. But yeah, there you go. Uh, the back on these is... Um, this will be like this, like we will keep it like this, how we have it for our regular framing, because uh, the back of this is really deep. It goes in really far. And so this this will be how we we finish our framed canvas on the back with the beehive hangers and the bumpers. So yeah, any other frame question? Yeah. Or, sure. Uh, not within, like, not like if you're doing a white, you know, like a white outside and a black inside. It's just, it, how they do it is all the one color. So you would have to do a black frame to get the black interior. Um, so if, if you're doing a light one, I would do a white wrap or some other wrap. I wouldn't do a black wrap. So you're, you want to kind of pair the, whatever the wood tone is with the type of wrap you do would be my advice. So. Yeah, I don't know. Those would maybe. Are you talking about frame? I'm assuming that's a canvas, or is that related to any frame? Maybe you can clarify if that's a matted like frame type print frame, or are we talking about the float canvas frame? Um, I mean, I think we'll always look to be adding stuff in the future, but framing is one of those things of like we could have 400 frames and there would still be a style that somebody else would want. So um, we're definitely. We've expanded in November with uh, several new frames, and then we're expanding the seven new standard frames, and that'll probably be it for the year this year. Uh, we'll see what 2022 brings, but um, we it takes a lot of time for us because we're a small team to add new products, photograph it, market it, add it to proper systems and things. So uh, we we do it a little we do it slowly. As we grow, we'll probably have people in teams that can do that on a more full time basis, but. Right now, we have to be careful of how much stuff we add. So I think there's a question about, is that frame an empty space in the back? There's a, 
there's a, yeah, I mean, there's a hole. Um, I mean, we cover it with the back. So, I mean, it's, it's not a solid wood all like all the way across. Um, I mean, a, a canvas itself doesn't either. Um, even a regular picture frame isn't, doesn't go all the way across. So, um, yeah, so th there is a hole there, but that's why we had the puncture resistant backing to help, help protect it and seal it off. Any other ones? Are we good? Okay. Cool. Um, let me look. I think that might be it for. Pro oh, no, let's do the frame corners real quick. I'm sorry. Um, we'll do those and then we'll get into the gathering stuff real quick. So, this is your aged cherry. We'll probably do a lot of top down stuff here. Just so you can get a better feel. So, you can kind of see how these are built. <laughs> the. Um, it helps, so you can you can imagine that you know there's going to be a, a gap in there. Um, oil and wax cherry, so these are both cherry. Uh, let's see, what other cherry ones we have? There should be some dark, dark ones in there maybe. So this is a black, black cherry here. Oh, antique cherry. This one's a little, it's a little hard to see, but it's it's more red than the um, the black cherry. So it's your cherry line. No, move here. So these are your walnuts. The oil and wax walnut. That in black. Uh, that's actually, yeah, that's a walnut. Um, here's an ebony walnut. This is a black walnut. I think that one may have got labeled wrong, actually. That's okay. <coughs> Uh, special dark walnut. Uh, this is a satin black maple, so you really see the smoothness of the maple uh, on these. So there's like zero grain on those. Uh, oil and wax maple. You should be able to really see the grain on those. Uh, this is a rising warm ash. And uh, white wash ash. Definitely kind of has hints of like, I don't know, it feels like it has some kind of very subtle pink or something in there. The white wash. It's definitely very soft. Uh, just a white maple. And then we've got uh, three different grays, kind of light, light to dark. Uh, the first two are maple, and then this one is a dark gray ash. So this one you'll see a little bit of the little bit of the wood grain um, there. You kind of see it. Uh, where the the maple is not going to have anything, it's just going to be s straight and smooth. So, so yeah. So those are all the float framed options that we have. Um, anything else? Uh, it's basically Tyvek, so it's a Puncture, puncture resistant, like moisture resistant um, material. So it's 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 not a craft paper or something. It's like nicer, stronger, more durable than that. It has like kind of a fabric woven into it. Um, 
So it's, it's good stuff.